Welcome to the mapped history of Bartholomew Dias and Vasco da Gama. For centuries silk and spice was transported overland from Asia to Europe. The Ottoman Empire and Venice were in control of trade in the Mediterranean Sea. Henry the Navigator initiated the Age of Discovery by exploring the west coast of Africa. The Voyages of Bartholomew Dias Wanting to break into the spice trade, King John II of Portugal appointed Bartholomew Dias to discover a sea route to India. Three ships were dispatched, the Sao Cristóvão captained by Dias himself, the Sao Pantelão captained by João Infante and a support ship captained by Dias's brother, Bro Dias. Dyes departed Lisbon, Portugal in August 1487 and followed the route previously mapped by Diego Cao, who travelled as far south as Valfis Bay. The fleet sailed to the Cap Verde Islands and then stopped for supplies at Elmenal Castle on the Gold Coast. From there the fleet continued south to the mouth of the Congo River and eventually arrived at Valfis Bay in December 1487. Dias lost sight of land near the mouth of the Orange River and was blown off course in a storm. He eventually turned north and landed in Mossel Bay, having rounded the Cape without realizing it. A trading altercation turned into a small skirmish with the Khoikhoi people. Dias quickly decided to move on towards Algoa Bay. With supplies dwindling and the crew close to mutiny, Dias decided to turn back near the mouth of the Great Fish River. He left a padrão to mark the easternmost point of travel for future voyages. On his return journey the Cap of Storms was discovered. Dias returned to Portugal in December 1487, having travelled 16,000 miles in 16 months. The king renames the Cape of Storms to the Cape of Good Hope to encourage future exploration. Dias died in a storm off the coast of South Africa on 14 May 1500, on his second Indian expedition. He is celebrated as a national hero in Portugal. The Voyage of Vasco da Gama Da Gama was the son of nobleman Estivao da Gama and Isabel Sidra. He had four brothers and a sister. Da Gama departed Lisbon, Portugal on 8 July 1497 with a fleet of four ships and 170 men. The São Gabriel captained by Vasco da Gama, the São Rafael captained by his brother Paulo da Gama, the Berrio, later renamed the São Miguel captained by Nielau Colo and storage ship captained by Goncolo Nunes. The fleet sailed south stopping at the Canary Islands and the Cape Verde Islands before sailing southwest after passing Sierra Leone. Da Gama took advantage of the South Atlantic Gyre, sailing close to Brazil before turning east towards Africa. The fleet landed in St. Helena Bay, now Soldana Bay on 4 November 1497. He then rounds the Cape and lands at Mossel Bay but is forced to scuttle the storage ship due to damage in a storm. Da Gama passes Dias's Padrão in December and continues up the east coast, naming the land Natal which means birth of Christ in Portuguese. The fleet continued north through Arab-controlled territory to the friendly port of Malindi, briefly staying in the vicinity of Mozambique Island and engaging in piracy near Mombasa. A pilot with knowledge of the monsoon winds is hired in Malindi and Da Gama departs on 24 April 1498. The fleet arrived in Calicut, India on 20 May 1498. Da Gama gives gifts to the king but fails to confirm a trading treaty due to his lack of gold. 
The fleet sails north to Amjidiva Island. In his haste to return home, Da Gama ignored local knowledge of the monsoon winds and departs for Afrikan on 3 October 1498. This would be a costly mistake. By the time the fleet arrives in Malindi half the crew is dead and the rest are suffering from scurvy. Da Gama is forced to scuttle the Sao Rafael due to lack of crew. He heads for home, passing the Cape of Good Hope in April 1499, Da Gama's brother falls ill upon reaching the Cap Verde Islands. Da Gama remains with his brother and sends the rest of the fleet home to Lisbon. He departs for the Azores but his brother dies en route and is buried at the monastery of São Francisco in Angra do Heroismo. Da Gama arrives in Lisbon on 29 August 1499 and is celebrated for being the first European to open a direct sea route to Asia. Yearly Portuguese Indio Armadas follow his route. Da Gama undertakes two more voyages before dying in India of malaria on 24 December 1524.